Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here doing another random pack video. We got some new packs that we just got in last week. Uh, you can see Chronicles here. We got 2018 Chronicles with Acuna, Soto, uh, Otani, and many others in that product. This was uh, purchased from DA Card World. They had some of these blasters on sale. And we got a Bowman Draft 2018. And we also have this little one. 2008 Bowman Chrome coming your way. Some little ones too. Yeah, we got some other. Yeah, got some real little, little ones. Actual little ones. They're minis. Mini, hobby. 2013 then, mini. 18 good one champions. So. so we got some new packs today and some, some fresh blood. Old ones as well. So we got some that have guaranteed hits, some that you can pull monster hits out of, such as Bowman Draft. Uh, and we have some, uh, you know, the 2019. Uh, top Series 2, uh, Pete Alonzo just hit number 46 and 47 tonight, home That's runs. Impressive. Uh, so he is going to challenge Judge's record of 52 home runs as a rookie. That is quite incredible. That's really incredible, actually, and especially for what his value is at. Like, there's hardly any even hype around him in the card community. It's yeah, like, I think his age is part of the factor, and I think people are just thinking he's a one-and-done guy, which he could be, but maybe not. Maybe he'll prove us all wrong. People said that about Judge, too. He'll do it for one year, he'll get hurt, or he'll just come back next year and not do it. Let's keep going through the packs here. 219 Archives. Um, nice 18 update in 18 Series 2. Got this year's Chronicles first off the line. By the way, that update pack, those things keep going up. That's probably a $15 pack, maybe maybe more. Is it really? Yeah, oh they're, they're way over $200 for a hobby box right now. $225 to $250 for a hobby box. Did I get the other pack? Let's see. I don't think so. Okay. Oops. And then we got Pro Debut and 2008 Bowman Chrome and 1987 Tops. And then 81 Dunruss, as well as 86 Dunruss. So 81 will be kind of interesting. That's pretty so old. how many packets do we have? Uh, Like 29 or something, including this blaster. I'm going to split these up too real quick while we're at it. All right. So we'll put the Chronicles out back. Chronicles was incredible last year. And when I saw they had these at DA Cardinal, I jumped on it right away because they are hard to find even blasters of Chronicles last year. Yes. Oh, no, I get this one. Now, the Acunas no, and the Sotos from Chronicles don't sell anything close to the tops, but it's even still, still you can still get a nice Acuna or Soto out of it. So, And that, the Chronicles is cool looking. So. Yeah, and very cool looking. And these are what, the Revolution packs? Yeah, you get one of these with every blaster. Pretty cool looking. So nice Glyber oh, Torres. there's a good one. Ozzy Elbies. Ozzy Elbies. And Miguel Andrew. Yeah, so not bad. All Solid three, pack. All three good rookies. Um... I don't know. I'm tempted just to do all my Chronicles right away. I'll just do one. One Chronicles. And then do an old pack. Yeah, I'll do 86 <clears throat> Dunruss. We'll get Luke's uh, knowledge on the old baseball players. It's always quite entertaining. Get yelled at weekly. Just kidding. Ben, you guys have been very nice to me recently and understanding. Um, considering I know nothing about, like, I know, like, I can probably name, like, the 10 bigger names from, like, 86, but that's about it. Otani or that's a nice that's one. Solid. Yeah, two Another, Otanis. Yeah, two Otani's. Nice. It's pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. Last week you did get in trouble when you talked about Trevor Hoffman. Oh the, yeah, the, the Padres rookie. Yeah, I know I was gonna get yelled at. <laughs> I was like, oh. That's I was all right. Of, well, we get that's the thing right. is, yeah. is what triggered it in my brain is out of tribute we got a Trevor Hoffman right. auto. Right, right, right. Um, and I was saying, oh yeah, Trevor Hoffman is a rookie, but he's not. UL Washington. Oh, yeah. Juan, Joe Necro, Joe Necro I know that Phil person. Necro's I know Don, S Don, Don Sutton, Sutton too. Yep. Didn't he play for the? Did he? I'm, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, don't say it. I was gonna say he played for the Dodgers, but I don't think that's right. Uh, I think he did. Yeah, I'm pretty did sure I? he did. Okay. Most of the time with those old baseball players. Let me I, see those. Let me see those packs. They're actually in awesome shape. Yeah, these are actually in really good shape. Um, let's do this series two pack. And there is a good rookie out of here. That everybody was telling us last time, um, and I'm trying to recall who exactly that was. This one we got Ben Gamble, Tyler O'Neill, Jacob Faria, Mejia, Royals, 
It's a nice gold parallel of Luke yeah, that's, Voigt. That's a good one. That's solid. Gold. Now, the, it's funny because the golds have gone way up in value. Rookie golds. No, that's not a rookie gold. But um, remember a couple years ago, you, you couldn't sell You could buy. Golds? We sold Chris Bryant true rookie golds for like 20 bucks, And that was like a lot at the time for yeah. Chris yeah. Bryant. And that was and like at the height of his hype. Now, too. now they're if you you know the Acuna's, Sotos, whatever, those go for hundreds. I yeah. mean, it's crazy. And I think it might have something to do with like the silvers and Panini and stuff. And it's kind of like yeah, kind of similar to that. Well, they, least. I mean, they. That's a nice oh, there's a nice one. one. Yeah, those are kind of difficult to pull. Actually, yeah, so that's a good that's one. Cool. You Darvish Black. What? Keuchel. That's a funny. That's picture. a funny picture in Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Um, yeah, so the golds have gone way up in value compared to what they used to be. We we actually had a local card shop back in New Hampshire where a guy, one of his loyal customers, collected all the golds, and we sold them to him like a buck a piece, just regular common golds. And uh, who knows what we sold? What we sold? I think it was mostly football. So I'm yeah, not too it was probably about mostly that. football. But uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting to to see how things change in the hobby. Yeah, it is, especially with like the, I I kind I've always wondered about that though. Like I kind of thought eventually those might go up because yeah. they are pretty rare, and with the really good rookies, they actually like trout and stuff. Trout's gold sell for a ton. Right. Well, you can't. So, you can't because there's only two thousand eighteen of them. It's like right. A, right exactly. Brady's SP authentic rookie, which is one of the more <laughs> sought after ones, and that one I think there's two thousand of. Yep. And so that's you, why it's sought after. Right. So you have to think of it that way. And and plus, if you get a couple golds in a hobby box, let's say the chances of actually pulling a big rookie is pretty slim. Mares and stallions, American paint horse. Yeah, it is actually really slim. So, I think it's well deserved that they increased in value. Yeah, I was looking at um, Sotos and Acuna's and Bragmans and all stuff today, and you know the prisms and the rainbow foils—they've all gone way up in price for. Uh, you know, rookies. I mean, they've always had value, but yeah, I actually like mini baseball. Games. I know. Cool. I love this design. Now, for everybody it's out nice there, Jeter. that's pretty sweet to pull a Jeter. I'll take that. Any Jeter's good. Uh, one video I kept saying every design was 2013. This is 13 baseball. Orion Sweeney Gold out of 62. The golds in this are lower numbered. They're still easy to pull. They're one every seven packs to pull a gold. I remember this because I opened up 13 football mini when, yeah. it came, when it was out. And, and I think this was like about a $40 box, at, and DA was having a sale. It might even be less than that. Maybe it may be a 35 It may have been $35. 18 Goodwin. This stuff is fun. You can get yeah, all you kinds can get all of kinds crazy. Of weird oh, stuff. There's a chunky boy in this pack. Ooh, right right off the bat. I just took the first pack off the box. So. Yeah, you can get map cards. You can get... World War Two relics. I don't know if they have map cards in this one. I think they do. Lindsay Weaver. We know they do in the in this year's. Oh, I remember these oh, the yeah, dog yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, the dog these cards. These are popular. Yeah. Uh, Carrie Blue Terrier. They're not that hard to pull. You got a lot of them, but they're actually quite cool. They're, yeah, they actually are. Are actually kind of a neat looking card. Canine Companions. Too That's bad cool. Our I dog's like that. not down here. She would like that. Oh, I'll pull. I love that. Next Chronicles pack here. See if we can't pull a nice Acuna, Aaron Judge. No, another Otani. Another Otani. I'll well, take that, though. This is a flipped around Bryce card. Harper. Austin Hayes, Crusade. Oh, well, that's pretty Silver. sweet. That's pretty decent. Too bad it's not a bigger and name, Eric but I love the look of those. Feed or Fede. I love the look of the Chronicles. Yeah, for sure. Next up, 15 Asia Edition. This is actually kind of cool. We had this box sitting on a shelf for forever and decided to throw it in this video, in some of these videos. Uh, Scroogs, Gilbert, Lara first, and Garrett Morgan. Brett Phillips, Fernando Perez, Doug Fister, Phil Hughes. These names are impossible to read. Though. Yeah, I can't it, even read it made me feel good because Filmington was opening up a box of 2015 Bowman Jumbo. And he didn't even read the names because they were so hard to read. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it's not impossible. just us. <laughs> it actually is impossible. It is impossible. That was a big, thick well, card a in there. cornerstone in here. Dang, that's Look sweet. at that, yeah. A chunky boy. Let's hope it's a uh, Alonzo or a Tatis. 
You know, so in mind, I saw some pulse the other day, but a Boba Shet, that would be cool. Oh, yeah. he doesn't have autos yeah. in, like, anything. That so. guy's playing well, too. He's, like, totally under, not under you the what? radar, I would say, but he's not getting much There's hobby Trevor life. Hoffman right there. There's Trevor Hoffman, rookie. <laughs> um, Brad Keller, Obsidian. Got a flipped over. Oh, another Trevor Hoffman. Nice. At 299. That's actually a cool card. Chris Paddock. That's sweet. Crusade parallel. And we'll go ahead and see this is it looks blue, so that could be good or it also could be terrible. Oops, yeah, I left another card here. Uh Xander Bogart's Rookies and Stars. And it's gonna be It's a catcher. It's a catcher. Reese McGuire for Toronto. That's a sweet looking card. That's an awesome card, yeah. The blue with the blue. Looks yeah. Cool. And I like I like the catcher uh the catcher gear. Uh, Uniform, that makes you completely gear, forget yeah. about the logo thing. Yeah, it so does. That's cool. On card auto. Nice. Well, they started doing that with cards. Uh, I really thought that was a cool idea. Yeah, the catcher Heaven. stuff. Yep. 18 Bowman Drive. All right, so you can hit monsters out of here. You can hit nothing. So let's see. Yeah, There's man. three autographs in a jumbo box. Yeah, so you're not really expecting to get an auto. That's for One sure. One out of four packs is an auto. Gilbert, a nice McKay. Esteban Floreal, that's good. Jeremy Yearman. Kendall Jackson. Nelson. Butler. Picante. What is what this? that? Oh, it's like flipped over insert. I was going to say, uh, normally in tops, they don't flip right. over hits. Uh, no, I was going to... Recommended rewind. What does it say? Recommended... Oh, recommended viewing. I don't know how I saw it. It's I like wonder, impossible to read. I wonder if those are like... Uh... Like a more rare insert or I what? Know. I don't know. Sixto Sanchez and Bryce Turing refractors. And then Diaz, Sandlin, Carson, Larnick, McKenzie, nice Boba Shet. That's cool. Yeah. It's not his first though, is it? No, but it's still a Boba Shet. Yeah. So And of course it's paper, fun. so not bad. Alright, let's go and do an older pack. Let's go way back in time. Eighty one. I wonder, uh, we opened up one of these packs before. We I, did. I we know, did. Probably and I have no idea who's in this. I don't either, but I remember this. Oh, yeah. Because this is the too. real gum stain. Hardcore. I mean, look at that. I can't even. Oh, here, I'll play with it. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. These cards are just beat up. Uh, yeah, wow, these are bad. Look at how miscut they are. Oops. Charlie Moore. Ew. Al Woods. Yeah, I wouldn't mess around with that. It's probably toxic. You'll probably. You'll probably get like lung failure. Probably, or yeah. You'll probably. Like organ failure. <laughs> oh, there's a Dave Winfield. Time. Too bad it's all mangled. But that's pretty cool. It's Dave Winfield? Mangled. No, it's not that mangled. But look at, look at the bottom yeah, corner. Yeah, the bottom corner. But that's actually not that bad. It's like a PSA 7 right there. Bobby Brown, you know, the famous uh, singer. Uh, Glenn Hubbard. I can't even get off. Tom. Oh, I thought that said Bum Gardner, Bum Meyer. Uh, Larry <coughs> Hissel. I feel an organ failure coming in. I'm going to throw this away now. I mean, look at this, guys. If you don't hear it from Luke again, you'll know it's the gum. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's like, dee. Very interesting. All right, so next pack, let's do one of the Chronicles. Let's see if I can actually pull an Acuna or a Soto. We got like four Otanis, so I mean. Yeah, we got four Otanis. Let's see what we get here. There's an Anduhar. Of course, he's out for the season. There's a Stanton. There's a Stanton. And Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. That's a cool looking card. I wish they put Ill Illusions was cool last year. I yeah, like that. that is a pretty cool set in there. Um, let's do Pro Debut. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I think we pulled all the autographs out of Pro Debut, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, too. So let's see if we can get any cool uh, parallels. I mean, my allergies are killing me recently. Oh, there's a good one. Nice. Vladimir Guerrero, pretty sweet. And the, is he on? Oh, that's a Buffalo. I was gonna say that's is he AAA, on Triple A, not Fisher Cats. And then this not is one of the cool. uniform knights. Garbage, garbage plate. I have to. I got. I got some allergy issues too. 
I'm blessing you. It's fall. Hay fever season. Now we're going to like blow our noses into the microphone. <laughs> yeah, so please excuse fun. our um, <laughs> snotty noses. All right, so 2019 archives. This has dropped in price quite a bit. Shockingly. Yeah, I mean, there's not much in here, but you can still pull monsters. And this is from a pretty fresh box. Randy Johnson. Ted Actually Williams. Very fresh because we haven't gotten anything from that. Yeah, Lorenzo Kane, Hosmer, Jacob Degrom, uh, Nate Lowe, and David Dahl. That would be Low. Nope, that would be Low. Nope, it's Low. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going. You with. got it wrong. Know, it's wrong because it's Brandon Low. All right, 2018 Stadium Club. So this is out of a fresh box too. 2018 Stadium Club. Going for a Gliber, just like last year. Yes, we have. We still have one of those yeah, sitting in our card room here. Oh, that's a nice one. That's actually that's actually a really solid. good one. We never hit one of those before. That's I a pretty that. sweet one. So that's a good. Uh, that's a Shoei Otani Beam Team rookie card. I thought that Ted Williams with that picture, like that the bat's sweet. like curved. Yeah, look at that. You know, because that's what happens when you swing that hard, is the wood just starts to curve. Let's go back to 87. Ted wasn't playing then, but let's just go back in time to 87. Hopefully the gum is not stuck all over this pack. Let's see. No, it's stuck to the back of the card. So Pete Ladd has some gum stuck to the back. Pete Ladd played for who? Um, Let me look at the team and I'll tell you. Oh, come on. You oh, have yeah, to the say Brewers. Brewers. Oh, no, not the Brewers. <laughs> he played for the Mariners. Yep. True. I totally knew that. True. I was gonna question. say I don't think Pete Ladd was an all star. No, I don't think he was either. That's what happens, the cards stick together. Look at the coloring on that one. Solid. RJ Reynolds, Jimmy Key. Jimmy Key is a good pitcher. Yeah, the coloring on some of these cards uh, a little different. Mike Davis, Chris Davis's uncle. Um <laughs> Steve Sachs. We say that all the time. I'm Tony really Armis. Like now, the, the, okay, now, you know how there's people that have a name that represent some of their physical attributes? This guy definitely had an arm. He he did for real. He had a powerful arm. Tony Armis. Sounds just like me. Yeah, maybe. I'm in the 90s right now, my fastball. Ooh. Yeah. With all my sure baseball you are. I'm sure your abilities. accuracy is... Uh, out of this world. Oh yeah. All right. So 2019 I don't series play two. Baseball, I'm just so kidding. yeah, in one video we were joking around about trout and how his oh yeah dad it was there's was a old trout car a, a Steve Trout or something like that. We said it was a Mike Trout's dad. Sorry guys, we were joking around. We weren't. Oh, there we go. Sweet Ooh. Tatis. Big hit. Now kidding, let's see if we can get a. Doggone it, Fulton Woods. Why couldn't you be somebody bigger? Yeah. All right. Um, Gardner Minter. That is a cool card. The Hap. I like the background of that one. And then Stassi. So now I switch up into a more interesting conversation. Who do you think is going to win the World Series this year? Are you asking me or the people watching? I uh, know you. Me? Um... That's a really good question. I think I'm thinking the Astros. I think the pitching of the Astros is going to be. The Yankees are the Yankees are decent, but their pitching's just not. Their bullpen's not good enough. Their bullpen's pretty highly ranked. Their starters aren't good. Logan Allen. We already got that one. I'm pretty sure out of this box. That's an on card autograph. I think wasn't Carter Young the guy that. It's not out of it, but Stars and Stripes. Because uh, remember, uh, um, what's his name? Eloy was chasing some guy out of this. I don't think it was him, but. That's where he's from. You know, for $50, the Stars and Stripes is pretty good. It's pretty fun. Um, I like it, actually. 2019, Allen. You know, I think that the Astros are definitely going to win. Who do you think they're going to play? Boy, I don't know. That's a good question. Oh my! Oh, we got a, a framed hit. We got a framed hit. Hopefully, it's an Ooh. autograph. Buxton Murphy, King Arthur's it's sword. An, I think it's like a gold frame. A isn't Keller. It? it looks gold, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, it does to me. 
Oh my! It's Trevor. Oh Hoffman. my word! It's the real Trevor Hoffman. Man, big hit. Whoa, Mojo. Just kidding, but still, it's Trevor Hoffman, no. the Hall of Famer. Actually, that's really cool. I that like is that. Actually, an awesome card. Now, when I lived in San Diego, uh, this was Luke was born in San Diego. We lived in San Diego for about four years, and uh, he was still pitching for the Padres back then. So He's I have uh, some Padres history of watching many games, not live, never actually made it to Petco Park. One thing I yeah. greatly regret is not Just be- a bandwagon going there. Fan. No, I I followed them pretty closely. They had a good team back then. Uh, Jake Peavy. It's like the Red Sox. I was a true fan because I was uh, raised there, but the Red Sox started doing good and just jumped on the bandwagon. Can't be a Tigers fan anymore. Chasing history. A mini insert. Santana. Santana, is that right? I got a hard time reading that. I mean, you have to make up somehow for being a Lions fan. Yeah, you do. Those I like those mini cards. They're kind of fun. Yeah. All right, let's go Bowman, 2008 Bowman. I don't, these cards I thought would be a lot more warped. I don't know. Apparently not. I think 2010 is the one where like, they're literally Or 11? Like, is no, it 11? No, it's, we've not opened 11. I can guarantee you that. Is it 10? Yeah, yeah one of the 10. years they're horrible. Oh, that's actually not a – that's kind of a cool design. People probably don't like it, but – it's decent. I don't think there's many good rookies in this year. There's a Jeff Kent. I think I looked at it. There's a couple. Castillo like Larry Williams. and Larry Williams. So, kind of fun. Now, that was a, what was that, a $38 box, I think? Yeah. So, that was a, like a cheap box. All right, let's do this one. We got the other Chronicles pack. Actually, Can we hit one? one? Acuna or one Soto. Let's see. Come on. Charlie Blackman. Crawford. Oh, come on. Molina. Chris Bryant. And wah, wah, wah. Austin Hayes. Well, we're get we have more of those on the shelf, so we'll be breaking more. Let's go to 2019 Tops Chrome. See if we can't pull a monster out of here. Cabrera, Walker Bueller, Prism. That's pretty nice. The rookie cup. Uh, Upton and Duffy. Now to the real big boys. All right, now the real big boys. 2018 update. Looking for one of those guys that we just named a second ago. Either Soto or Acuna, or we'll take even... Nick Kingham. We'll take Nick Kingham. Bregman. Nope. Brandon McCarthy. Brandon. You're not even a rookie. You still haven't gotten a hit out of either of those boxes yet. Series 2 or update. So there could still be an Acuna auto in this. Oh, that would be nice. That'd be pretty decent. I'll take an Acuna parallel. All right, so last pack. Series 2, Jumbo. I think it's the last pack out of the box. I also think that there should be a relic in here. If my memory serves me right. No. There's my not. memory didn't serve me right. I, I think guess. we pulled all the hits out of it. Apparently. But so. it doesn't matter because you can still pull a monster parallel. So let's see if we can do that. Don't we have another box of this that we're going to do? We too? do. Yeah. It was. Sweet. It's. We had to open it at the National yeah. to get the silver pack. So we'll be Together adding that one. into our next few breaks so here's the ozzy elbies this stuff was actually awesome barnes i like the look of that gold right there baltimore you know why because tatis has a um horizontal card like oh, that man. see that yeah i see what you're saying another tatis oh john edwards all right come on dude be a good rainbow foil Ooh, that is a good one that's a good one. Uh, the Trout and Otani with the, the kanji I mean, it does look writing. awesome. It looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to sell for a huge amount, but it's still pretty cool. Um, now, the 150th of these rookies actually sell really well. I was shocked That's today when I was looking. Rare. Yeah, and Chris Sale. I think Series 2, and I said this on other videos, it's already gone up. They're like $75 for a hobby box in a lot of places. 
um, I think it will go up from there. It's probably the best rookie product of the year. Yeah, they'll probably just keep going up. Because I don't really know who's even going to be an update. Well, you're going to probably have um, uh, Alvarez, um, Chavez. There's a Jimenez. That's not bad. Um, possibly the Cincinnati Reds guy. What's his Definitely name? Definitely not. Aquino will not Aquino, be uh, probably not. No, Bo Bichette um, would be in there. Bo Bichette, Aquino, yeah, Bo Bichette could be in there. I don't think he will be in there either. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see who they put in uh, update series. But there'll be some good players in there, guarantee. Yeah. Um, and you'll have these other guys in there too, like they did in like 17. $100 million thousand dollars a box. Yeah, uh, Blowout has it at $109 for a hobby box, and I think <laughs> 145 or something like that for a jumbo. So it's going to be a little more expensive, but... After it comes out, it may drop a little bit too. Who knows? All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this break. We pulled some good rookies. We pulled some good hits. Uh, no recap this time, so you're going to have to go back and watch the uh, video for the hits. Uh, we did pull some nice ones and some nice rookies, and I had a lot of fun making the video. So hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell us uh, what product you like the best out of uh, this uh, random pack video. And uh, we're going to keep trying to add new things to it. So don't uh, hesitate to tune in to see what else new we put in the next one. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting. And, oh, yeah, I think next time we may have Bowman Chrome in it, maybe. No. No, not next week, but the following week. Two weeks from now. Yeah, two Spoiler weeks. Spoiler alert. Two Bowman weeks. Chrome. Two weeks. All right. See you guys. Take care. Have fun collecting.